Jupiter is flinging comets toward Earth. Some astronomers believe that Jupiter, instead of protecting Earth from dangerous comets and asteroids, is actively flinging objects into the inner solar system. New research now demonstrates this complex process in action. A popular theory suggests Jupiter, with its tremendous mass, acts like a gigantic shield in space, sucking in or deflecting dangerous debris left over from the formation of the solar system. That makes sense, but the Jupiter shield theory, as it's known, has been falling out of favor over the past two decades. A leading critic of this theory, Kevin Grazier, formerly of the West Point US Military Academy and NASA, has sought to debunk this idea for years. He has published several studies on the subject, including a 2008 paper titled, Jupiter is a sniper rather than a shield, indeed. With each successive paper, Grazia has increasingly demonstrated the ways in which Jupiter, instead of being our protector, is actually, though indirectly, a pernicious threat. Grazia's latest foray into the subject involves a pair of companion papers, one published in the Astronomical Journal in 2018 and the other in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Journal in 2019. The first paper takes a look at the complex ways in which objects in the outer solar system are affected by the Jovian planets, namely Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, and Uranus, while the second paper looks at a specific family of icy bodies and how they're transformed by Jupiter into potentially deadly comets. Looking at the findings of the two papers, it seems the Jupiter shield theory is in serious jeopardy. Actually, I wouldn't say that it's in jeopardy, I would say that it has been laid to rest, Grazia told his motto in an email. Our simulations show that Jupiter is just as likely to send comets at Earth as deflect them away, and we've seen that in the real solar system. To be clear, this was a very good thing when the Earth was young, as comets and asteroids delivered the essential ingredients required for life. Today, however, these impacts are most certainly not good, as they could trigger mass extinction similar to the one that extinguished non-avian dinosaurs some 66 million years ago. Grazia's papers present new models that demonstrate the complex astrophysical processes required to convert distant celestial bodies into local threats. 
working with collaborators from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory and the University of Southern Queensland, Grazia showed how objects in the scatter disk, a ring within the Kipper belt that contains many Neptune approaching planetesimals, are influenced by the Jovian planets. They also show how centaurs, a group of icy bodies in orbit beyond Jupiter and Neptune, are transformed by Jupiter into potentially Earth-threatening comets, specifically a collection of objects known as Jupiter family comets. Using simulations, the researchers found that centaur objects, Jupiter family comets, and objects in the scattered disk are not dynamically distinct populations, that the orbits of objects in these families evolve under the gravitational influence of the Jovian planets, and objects can move between these three dynamical classifications many times over their lifetimes, said Grazia. The researchers used a jet propulsion lab tool that allowed them to simulate the positions of Jovian planets at any given point in time. The gaps between these planets were then seeded with particles, that is icy bodies, placed in random orbits. The model crunched the numbers, predicting the positions of both the planets and the particles along their orbits over long time periods. The simulation could churn out results at regular intervals but also when an interesting event occurred that strongly influenced the trajectory of a particle. The model affirmed a long-standing hypothesis that centaurs are fed by the scattered disk and that the Jovian planets play a role in this process. More ominously, the model also showed how Jupiter family comets JFCs, are born. This research was equaled parts planetary dynamics and computer science or, arguably, data science, said Grazia. In our simulations, a large fraction of the objects that become JFCs are first grabbed by Jupiter into what are called temporary capture orbits, or TSCs, orbits that circle Jupiter a few times, then leave Jupiter, often on a very different orbit. We know that TSCs happen. The comet B-111 Helen Roman Crocot spent over 11 years in orbit around Jupiter in the 70s and 80s, and will be captured again in the 2070s. The exit geometry from these events is what determines if the object is on a JFC orbit or not, that JFCs actually exist was already known. In 1767, an object called D-1770 L1 Lexa made a close approach to Jupiter, causing it to migrate into an Earth-crossing orbit, thus becoming the first known Jupiter family comet. We've known that Jupiter converts out a solar system objects into JFCs for some time, we just haven't had a model for exactly how that process unfolds until now, said Grazia. As for Jupiter or even Saturn still acting as a shield, Grazia said that remains true, but these gas giants mostly protect Earth from objects caught between them. As for objects found in the outer solar system, that's a different story. In an email to Gizmodo, John T. Horner, a co-author of both studies, said Jupiter performs a dual role. It takes things that threaten Earth and flings them away, clearing space near our planet. So in that sense, it is something of a shield, said Horner, an astronomer at the University of Southern Queensland. On the flip side, though, it takes things that come nowhere near Earth and flings them our way, meaning it is also a threat. To find out which side is more important, to determine whether Jupiter is truly friend or foe, you need to look at the story in some detail. Interestingly, these simulations also predicted the presence of other planetary family comets. One interesting thing our work highlights is that Saturn, and to a lesser extent, Uranus and Neptune, also have their own comet families, but those are much smaller than those controlled by Jupiter, said Horner. Whilst it might seem like our work is predicting something we haven't yet seen, it's actually the case that our work is supporting and explaining what we already see. The Jupiter family comets have been known for a long, long time, and it has always been thought that Jupiter throws them inward and controls their orbits. Disturbingly, this remains an ongoing process. Jupiter peace in war times. I found this article as well, published January 9th. Uh, 2020, right? Two years ago, he said Jupiter's flinging asteroids at Earth like a sniper. Top scientist warns. All right. 
It says Jupiter is, is being accused of actively flinging dangerous objects into the inner solar system that could impact Earth. Some SpaceX believe that the huge planet protects Earth from comets and asteroids, but new research has suggested that it may actually be doing the opposite. The popular Jupiter Shield theory purposes that proposes that the planet acts like a giant space shield due to its huge mass causing it to suck in or deflect dangerous debris. Once again, in noon and in other cultures, even in ancient Kemet, which I had a couple of videos put up, uh, these orbs are conscious and these nine balls, including the sun, all the way to Neptune, right? Pluto is not a planet. These are the original Ennead. Okay, so they are conscious and aware. Our planet Earth is a part of it, right? Um, she, which is Jutar or Jupiter, is indeed involved in the, some of the things that they're they're finding out now. But see, a lot of them don't understand or even or aware that these planets are, are, are aware and conscious. So they say things like it's a theory or or they'll say that the planet is protecting the planet if the planet is protecting another planet that means it has to be conscious and it means that its position had to be put there by an intelligence in order for the for, the, for them to even to, to, to be able to deduce that it's protected because they know that's like you see an animal or two animals do that are opposite to each other or kind of different but they saying they're still considered animals you see this animal is always do, acting in a certain way and you say okay this animal is protecting this animal so that means there's a level of intelligence there because they keep saying that they're identifying this action as not weird it's not strange they're saying that it is protecting so it means it's definitely performing a function all right uh, however, this shield theory is slowly fit, falling out of favor and one of the leading critics in the space expert, Kevin Grazier. He's published several papers to explain why he thinks Jupiter is a sniper rather than a shield. Recently, he's been aiming to prove how this sniper-like process works. Grazier's extensive work could put Jupiter's shield theory in jeopardy, he told Gizmodo. Actually, I would say there's that it's in jeopardy i will say it has been laid to rest now once again if y'all been keeping up with my videos on jupiter i told you jupiter represent justice that's what the ju is short for and you got tar which is tar in ancient egypt p-t-a-h or pita jupiter is the judge the balancer all right more of this when uh Todd Boonet video come out. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna lead that to that. All right, Saturn or Saturn is 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 the karma planet and the prosecutor. So Jupiter does both. She can ju she can judge, she can protect, and then she can execute as well. She doesn't just not, she doesn't just judge and and uh Satuna carries it out they all play a, a, a role mars definitely plays a role with war Venom plays a role with it as well she can go from love to hate it's different you know sides of that emotion okay but she's a warrior as well all of them get busy when it's time so i just wanted to bring this in to add on and then i'm gonna bring in the nature books following that all right, so our simulation show that Jupiter is likely to send some comets at Earth as deflect them away, and we've seen that in the real solar system, see? So they already ran their tests, okay? But Afro-Uno and the ancients already knew this. See, they behind, all right? Grazia's work pro provides new scientific models that demonstrate the complex process behind how a celestial object can be turned into a threat. He collaborated with NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in the University of Southern Queensland to, to demonstrate how Jupiter could turn passing objects into potential Earth-threatening comets. Now, now we finna go into what I wrote. I did. The, I redid the whole re, uh, Book of Revelation, all 22 books over, right? And it's called New Pooh Revelation Interpretation Chapter 6 and 7. We're going to go on Chapter 6. So this is looking at the year now. 
I did this. It took me two days to do these two chapters. February 26th to 20th. Because I was doing chapter by chapter. Um, but my wife, Tarbuna, she was like, you should do them two at a time. Because of the speed that I was going. So I took her, her advice. And most of these are done uh, after a certain point. I was doing them two at a time. So you see February 26th, February 28th. And I did this uh, this year. All right, did it in two days. So we're gonna go to chapter. Um, we're gonna go to page twenty-four. And start from that twenty-four to twenty-seven. All right. So, all right. Here we go. We're gonna start from verse. Uh, six, 16, chapter 6, verse 16 in the book of Revelation. All right, chapter 6. And said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. Explanation. They are trying to hide from new Punai, ether, infrared rays emanating from the sun and all the orbs bringing in the judgment. This is the great cataclysm of the year February 5th, 2025 AD, 1073 days from the time of this writing. Revelation chapter 7, 1 through 17. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor of the sea, nor on any tree. Explanation. These are the four of the oars and planets that will be affecting the earth's whole environment at this time. One, the sun. Two, the moon, three, Jupiter, and four, Venus. This is confirmed in a part of geophysics called paleomagnetism. It's covered by French physicist Achilles Delice. I hope I pronounced his name right. If I didn't, um, I apologize. Born February 3rd, 1817, in uh, Metz, France. Died March 24th, 1881, Paris, France. All right. Paleomagnetism. Or paleomagnetism or palomagnetism is the study of the record of the Earth's magnetic field in rock sediment or archaeological materials. Magnetic minerals in rocks can can lock in a record of the direction and intensity of the magnetic field when they form. This record provides information on the past behavior of Earth's magnetic field and the location of tectonic plates. All right. The record geomagnetic reversal preserved in volcanic and sedimentary rock sequences magnostratigraphy provides a time scale that is used as a geochronological, excuse me, a geochronologic tool. Geophysicists who specialize in paleomagnetism are called paleomagnetists. Paleomagnetists lead, led the revival of the continental drift hypothesis and its transform, transformation into plate tectonics. Apparent polar wander paths provide the first clear geophysical evidence for continental drift, while marine magnet, magnetic anomalies did the same for seafloor spreading. Paleomagnetic data continues to extend the history of plate tectonics back in time as it can be used to constrain the ancient position and movement of continents and continental fragments terrains. Paleomagnetism relied heavily on new developments in rock magnetism, which in turn has provided the foundation for new applications of magnetism. These include biomagnetism, magnetic fabrics used as strain indicators in rocks and soils, and environmental magnetism. All right. Venus and Jupiter may metal with Earth's orbit and climate. All right, in 405,000 year cycles, the tug of nearby planets causes hotter summers, colder winters, and and drier droughts on our home planet. This was written by Jason Delay, correspondent, May 9th, 2018. So again, all this climate change foolishness that uh these these uh secret societies and, and corrupt governments are pushing. The scientists don't confirm. You got to understand, these people are working the government. That means they more into ruling people and military action. These people are not scientists. They are not religionists. They are cultists. 
and they're into negative magic and sacrifice of, of different things. Now, the people who actually study this stuff um, intrinsically are going against what they're saying that pollution causes all of this. It's a factor, but it's not bigger than or bigger than these planets here. Now, let's go into this. Astrologers have maintained for centuries that position of the planet impact planets impact people's personalities. That's astrology and emotions. Astrology again. And while this idea lacks scientific proof, it turns out that planetary alignments do affect some things on Earth. As George Dvorsky reports, as Gizmodo, a new study presents the first physical evidence that the Venus and Jupiter's gravity can cause shift in Earth's orbit and swings in its climate every 405,000 years. Astronomers have long hypothesized that other planets in our solar system have impacts on Earth shifting its, its world around the Sun from nearly circular to 5% elliptical, but they lack much physical evidence of this process and have long debated the particulars of the effects. The new study published in the Proceedings of the National Academic, excuse me, Academy of Science demonstrates the influence of our planetary neighbors pool using a 1,500-foot uh, rock core collected in 2013 from a boot in Arizona's Petrified Forest National Park and cores from the site of Ancient Lakes Bed in New York and New Jersey. Once again, if you know anything about petrified wood, which I wear a piece around my neck, um, and my wife has a big piece and chunk of that in, in the room and it helps you uh, um, bring back memories of the past so if you want to if you're interested in trying to tap into your DNA and, and get a clearer um, connection with what took place in the past also if you're in noon it'll help you just by you know saying Nupu a lot and, and things like that and turpentine and so forth but the petrified wood helps with bringing back memories of the past lives that you live just so you know researchers noticed that lake sediment cores bear a regular pattern of ancient lakes drying up and reefing over the course of hundreds of thousands of years a cycle that hints at uh, psychological changes in climate however they lack the ability to precisely date those climate shifts the arizona core however contained layers of ash from volcano eruption that could be dated because they contain radio 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 isotopes the researchers align the arizona core dates to the ancient lake core using bands found in all the cores marking reversal in earth's magnetic field this allowed them to compare the records the analysis demonstrated the climate swings took place every 405,000 years for at least the last 215 million years or through the late Triassic age when dinosaurs roamed the earth. All right, you can find this at www.thesmithsonian.com smart news slash Venus and Jupiter uh, change the earth's orbit and climate 405,000 years cycle. All right, so that's more confirmation. All right, so given y'all this in stages all right so now we're gonna go to another book that i put out right um with the book of revelation chapter 10 and 11 so i just wanted to look at the time when i put this out all right i did this march 1st and finished it march 3rd right and that was this year all right so now we're gonna go to chapter 11 with that's on pages uh 13 through 16. So we're going to roll down to that real clip. Quick 11, 12. Okay, 13. All right. It said, at that very hour, there was a severe. This is our revelation. Um, this revelation uh, 10 and 11. So it said, uh, verse 13, at the very hour there was a severe earthquake and a tenth of the city collapsed. 7,000 people were killed in the earthquake and the survivors were terrified and gave glory to the God of the heaven. The second war has passed. The third war is coming soon. You got you to gotta look at this too. When they put this here, this is a specific God. When they say to the God, it didn't say glory to God of heaven. Because when you say that, that is more expansive. So this is 
speaking about a particular God. All right. Listen to the reason. This earthquake hasn't happened yet. It will be as we get closer to February 5th, 2025 AD. The God of heaven is Nufu God, whose domain is in the top half 18 million years from now, not the actual sky. So this is one of the pictures out of the nature books. We can see Nufu God is up here. Down here is Zufu God. But Nufu is here as mental energies because they're not in physical form at this point. All right. The second world was speaking about the planet Saturn, who was responsible for that earthquake mentioned in verse 13. In astronomy, this is called perturbation. Perturbation is defined as the action of perturbing, the state of being perturbed, a distant, a disturbance of motion, cause arrangement, or state of equilibrium, especially disturbance of the regular and usually elliptical course of action of a celestial body that is produced by some force additional to that which causes its regular motion. <laughs> All right, that's in Webster Dictionary, page 14. April 2, April 2021, 20, Journal of Coastal Conservation. All right, uh, author is Salih Muhammad Awadah. I hope I'm saying this name right. If not, I apologize. All right, this research hypothesizes the tidal waves and earthquakes are, include, are induced by solar system planet positions as the planetary attraction act as a trigger force changing the speed of the Earth rotation. The occurrence of a sea tide is only a consequence of a relative slowdown of the rotational revolving speed of the earth which urges the earth's plates to move. The research includes analyzing earthquake data for the whole earth over to excuse me earthquake data for the whole earth over July 2019 with a case study of the Arabian plate seismicity including the Zagos folded belt and Zargos thrust zone as a seismic active belt in the northern hemisphere the rotational velocity of the earth has been calculate, calculated for eight seismic events and it turns out that the velocity was different for each case a negative proportional was found between earthquakes and the earth rotation speed during the configuration of the Jupiter and Saturn in a straight line with the Earth over July 2019, 1,037 of earthquakes occurred around the world was statistically analyzed having two to six magnitude, rotation revolving speed, angular momentum, and rotational inertia, kinetic energy, gravitational potential energy of the Earth at equator and at 45 degrees were computed to show how rotational speed triggering plates planets interact with each other influencing earthquakes via the gravitational stresses arising from the configuration of those solar system planets that cause a slowdown of the rotational revolving speed of the earth this this stimulates the earth's plate to move generating earthquakes due to the activation of faults so these people here study a whole year of seismic activities with jupiter and what is it, Saturn? Let me see. Yeah, Jupiter and Saturn in a straight line with the Earth. So they know what's going on. And they can tell you that. This is what the Bible was explaining. But you can tell again because the book had been uh, altered by the Catholic Church. Because the Catholic Church worships, uh, which is a part of Rome, worship Jupiter and worship Saturn. So you know that when these writings were put out there, because other cultures worshipped them too, they took that stuff out of the book. So they know what's to take place. This is why the Catholic Church is trying to ask for a day of forgiveness and jubilee on the year 2025 because they know that's it. And they're not going to get that because the time of the, of the Savior has passed. February 5th, 1962 was it. Every dirt that's been done 6,000 years prior to that is, has been uh, spread out accordingly to who all supposed to get what they supposed to get because they were descendants of those people and those who were supposed to survive or being were separated. So the time of judgment was from 1962, February 5th, 1962 to February 5th, 2022. Now it's sentencing time. So from February 5th, 2022 
sentencing to uh, February 5th, 2025. So everybody that's not going to make it is going to pass away in the 2022 uh, to two, uh, February 5th, 2025. So those that just die of natural causes, little accidents, that's not the, 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 the main focal point here. The main focal point is the evil people are now getting sentenced on multiple levels. Some of the stuff, some of some of these people and 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 groups you might not never know, but a lot of it will be seen and you will know what time it is. All right, they mean to take that much uh, of your time up. All right, so here's a diagram: the sun and the earth and the moon moving around it, right? And these look, these are these are tidal uh, tidal heights in that time frame. All right, look what it say. Semi semi diurnal cycle showing water height at spring and neat tides versus the time in two high and two low tides. The full moon in the second and fourth quarter, the water levels extends in ocean. At the first and third quarters, the moon is perpendicular in the right angle to the earth sun line. The tidal ranges below the average. Tidal levels in the spring and neat are twenty percent higher or lower around the average. Listen to reason. The scientists have proven that proven that outside planets can and do cause earthquakes on planet Earth. There is no mystery any longer called ignorance in noon science. True me the cause of peace and war. True me the cause of peace and war times. Now we're gonna go to show how this um, is translated and supported by noon. So we'll start with uh, introduction to the nature nature book two, page ten, number seven. And um, you'll see where I'm going with this. All right, listen to reason. Another thing, each major point, there are four on the circle. See chap shape one in paragraph two of this caption. Brings with it a major cataclysm. At point nine north, see shape one and two, comes a negative cataclysm because the negative force of nature start gradually undoing what the positive powers of the all and all have done. Also, there are four major classifications of matter, namely water, earth, fire, and air. Or to make them plural, we say liquid, solids, ethers, and gases. Um, the, the point nine no cataclysm is basically gases of nature making the major cycle changes at point six west. Also comes a negative cataclysm because six ether forces continue to undo what nine ether powers have done. The point six west cataclysm basically liquids of nature making the major cycle changes. Let it be remembered, always let it be known. Listen to reason. At point three south comes a positive cataclysm to help nine mentality be strong enough to pull the circle of order upward on the right side while undoing what the negative force of evolution have done. The point three south cataclysm is basically silence of nature making the major cata major cycle changes with the help of water, gas, and indeed fires. Like solids, of course, the other matters, elements, liquids, ethers, and gases get help too from other three major elements when it is their turn to be the basic element of major cycle changes all right so we're going to stop right there then we're going to go to um page 72 all right number 88 and it's a listen to reason shape 38 in this paragraph indeed it closes the smart circle order as the gods and goddess of elements right called universe scientists which is the uh the orbs Spirit people as the world soul. So here you can see fire eat this cataclysm here. Gas is cataclysm here. Water liquid cataclysm here. Round cataclysm here. So basically also when you look at the way our solar system is set up, we know that the physical planets will be uh Mercury, Venus, Venus, Earth, and Mars. So those would be the ground cataclysms. So they'll help with the ground cataclysms. You get to the fires, we know that that's Saturn and Jutal and the Sun, right? It's gases. And then you get up here, it's the same thing up here. And the same thing with uh, like air gases. So that would be more like uh, Uranus and Neptune you see what I'm saying because they have gases and things on their planet and ice and so there to be them over on this side as well waters and liquids so that'll be 
you know, um, Earth can be considered that as well. But mostly, all like Afrunu said, when the top half come in, it's war on all the planets, so all of them will be uh, put into this category except uh, Jupiter and Saturn. All right, so that's just showing you that. But here you see the solids and ground cataclysm. I'm going somewhere with this. All right, so the next one is what page 86. All right, so we can start up here. Uh, the vacuum pigment race dominates in perfection of positive starting 9,000 years before point nine north is present. Whereas the Caucasian race dominates in perfection of negatives starting 6,000 years before the circle of order reaches point three stop south. After the points of perfection are reached in both cases and at opposite times, the dominating race declines and their domination disappears completely after the scheduled cataclysm. The gas is cataclysm in the case of the vacuum picking race and the solid cataclysm in the Caucasian let it be remember already. Let it be remember always let it be known. So all this stuff that people are saying about, you know, trying to fight uh mankind and the governments and all this stuff and the other people, it's not you're not gonna be to do nothing about that. Nature has a cataclysm that's gonna wipe out all the problems and things that are in the way where you see people around the world who stop, who's complaining and upset about them being misused and abused and the only thing they could do is march some try to fight back and get wiped out so after the cataclysm which is scheduled for February 5th 2025 every race on the planet that has been misused and abused and tried to fight back and lost they would then have a chance to start over because the negative part of nature that put those people and governments and kingdoms in, in uh, position because it was time to do so would all be done after that all right so now we got that out the way all right so now we go to nature of nature book three this is the, the crim dollar crim all right listen to sound of reason we start at three south or zero degrees and move counterclockwise degrees by degree to 0 0.6 east or 180 degrees then further up with the 0 0.9 north or 360 degrees now we go to 0 0.6 west or 540 degrees of the smack circle of all the dawn degrees 540 or its completion the 0 0.6 west cataclysm arrives nonetheless after the smack circle of order gets started that is to say after it begins with conception of the universe of absolute nature this big order has 80 circle cycles to go before the cataclysm that begins the disintegration of the universe advents. The three point south cataclysm is called the solid cataclysm because it destroys person and things by using solid objects like parts of earth, stones, rock, asteroids, comets, meteors, volcanoes, earthquakes, fire, and brimstones, man-made objects, solid objects picked up by tornadoes and other storms, etc. Let it be remembered, always let it be known. So. I'm pointing this out because it's a scientific fact that Jutar, aka Jupiter, and we also have to add Saturnus in the mix because they both are right there by each other and they both are suns. They're not true stars, but they're still suns. That our scientists already explained that Jupiter not only protects Earth from asteroids, but Jutar can also fling uh, asteroids here and she sits right there within the uh she sits i think on the outside her and satuna sits on the outside of the, the asteroid belt so scientific has been it been uh proven the nature of nature book three written by afro uno in 2007 confirms the same thing he just didn't say who or what was going to be providing these earthquakes and things like that so i wanted to add that into the mix so people can understand that when afro uno says that noon is a science that's what it means that it will be found in scientific circles that will um bring all this stuff together all right so religion doesn't talk about this in the sense that it's missing all of these these pertinent information and uh, identification so that's why when you read these books if you are not guided by sound right reason and the orbs that was involved you won't be to understand it so i'm gonna show y'all how I put this um, information in my revelation books as well, just to give you a little, sh just to give you a little something, so you can understand that this is not a game, and that I am indeed being guided. It's not, it's nothing to play with. True to call peace and war time.